problem number 2 from development of surface uh, here the solid is pentagonal pyramid a pentagonal pyramid is resting on hp the dimension is given to you and uh, the side of base is perpendicular to vp so you have to construct a pentagon like this <coughs> so the height is 30 mm which is given to you so measure a distance of 30 mm here So this is the one side of your pentagon. Now measure 108 from both the side. And complete your pentagon. <coughs> This distance is also 3 centimeter or 30 mm. Now measure the distance of 3 centimeter on the rounder and find out the midpoint. from the corner join them and complete the pentagon now this is the pyramid so you have to come uh, find out the center point and draw uh, each and every lines and write down the names over here so this point is A, B, C, D and E. You have to find the center point. To find a center point, you have to find out the center point, midpoint of uh, any two corners and draw a line passing from it like this and find out the midpoint of any second uh, side and join them with the respective corner and find out the center point so this point is your center point and joint it with the every corners of your pentagon so this will gives you the top view of the pyramid Now the front view of the pyramid will be triangle. So you have to project your lines here. You need a center point as well for the axis. E and C and this is 40. Now height is given to you which is 60 mm. So 60 mm height you need to construct a 60 mm. So this is an axis right. So axis should be drawn by using chain line. So this is your axis. So this point is your O point, apex point we can say O dash. Now complete the all the points from by joining the lines. give names to them so this point is a dash b dash this point is c dash e dash and this is d dash so your front view and top view of the cylinder is complete 
now you have to develop the surface so before developing this portion uh, the sectional uh, position is given to you which is uh, it is cut by AIP at an angle of 60 degree passing through the axis 20 mm below the apex so this point is apex point so uh, you have to measure a distance of 20 mm below and draw a line at an angle of 60 degree so just measure the distance so this is my 20 mm distance draw a horizontal line for angle measurement measure the angle of 60 degree and draw line passing from this axis draw a sectional line which is thick at end and you are going to remove the uh, above portion so this is your S S dash this angle is 60 degree and this height this distance the, the point from apex to this point is a 20 mm which is given to you below the apex point now uh, find out the sectional point so this point is o dash a dash b dash so here uh, we are one dash and two dash there are two points on c dash e dash line as well it's a uh, three dash so here it's a three dash from D it's a 4 dash and again here so this point is a 5 dash now you have to develop the surface so for development this is a pyramid so pyramid uh, have to uh, develop it differently from the cylinder or a prism so here you have to measure this distance so this is nothing uh, the distance is let's say 6.5 it's a 6.5 distance so this generator this side face is a 6.5 you can measure any one of them because it's the uh, same so 6.5 centimeter you have to draw it anywhere on the space like this in actual practice you have to draw you you don't have to draw this line here you can directly develop the surface over here but i don't have any spaces so i'll just draw it in differently so that you can also uh, see now uh, from this as a center draw a arc with a radius of 6.5 which is the this height and draw it randomly like this draw randomly like this now these are the five side pentagon five five side so you have to construct uh, you have to measure this distance of 30 mm so measure this distance of 30 mm put point on here and make an arc for five times this uh, one arc represent one side of your pyramid which is one a to b so this point is a b this is c d we have to draw it extend it because the shape now joint end point this end point which we have got from with the center of the arc like this so this is the this is not an actual development of the pyramid this is the end point this is how how much material you require now for the bending you have to draw a lines if it is a cone then you don't need to draw a lines but it is a uh, 
पिरामिड सो इन पिरामिड यू हैव टू ड्रॉ अ लाइन विच रिप्रेजेंट द एजिस ऑफ द पिरामिड इन दिस केस इट्स अ पेंटागोनल पिरामिड सो इट हैज अ फाइव बेस एजिस सो जॉइंटेड विथ द कंटिन्यूस लाइन like this and this side has a faces a triangular faces with uh, uh, so let's say this point is o point so these are my uh, base uh, edges so this point is let's say a so this is b c d e and again a point so these are my points now this side is connected with the apex point and construct a one face as a triangular face so you have to join your lines here with a thin line actual but obvious because you are going to remove some of the lines so you have to draw it very thin line because after constructing a sectional part you have to draw it dark so rest of the line you have to remove it so it's very difficult so this is it so this is the development of pentagonal pyramid if you fold it fold it from this lines and join it with the, each other it will create a pentagonal pyramid now uh, we are interested in sectional pyramid so you can see let's mark a point 1 dash first on the development so 1 dash is on the line of o dash and a dash O dash A dash. So this is my O A line. So measure the distance of O O dash to one dash like this, and mark a point over here. So this point and both the side because we have a two A points. So this point is my one, and this point is also one. I have made one mistake. see uh, which uh, generator you have taken as a reference to construct this you have to transfer each and every points on that generator and measure the distance like you have to transfer this 1 and 2 over there and measure this distance from o dash like this so you have to measure this distance and transfer this point here and here so this point is 1 1 dash so this is the actual practice uh, this is also right but in some of the cases like tetrahedron and uh, different uh, hexagon uh, this method will be not useful so you have to transfer this points this points on the uh, generator or the faces which you have taken as a reference so this is the first point second point is on the b dash so this point is your b dash point so this point is your second point now for the third point uh, you have to make a reference on the generator and measure this distance so this point is point number 3 so 3 is on c point so this is your third point 